when this is the view where else could we be but goa's lovely port city of vasco da gama today we are excited to eat kerala food at the restaurant of a daughter of a former mormugao port trust worker born and brought up in goa second jenny's restaurant is located on the zwari road in vasco just ahead of daboli airport in fact you can see the airport terminal when standing outside jenny's That's very smart decorating. How can anyone passing by who happens to look up resist such a tempting spread? That's a nice view, but we only have eyes for the menu today. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Yay, apples! टेटो विच स्लादर इन We saw a sign saying lunch seventy rupees. Amazing. Yeah, that, that would make a lot of that would make a lot of sense for Vasco girls, no? Coming for lunch from office. Just shouting, man. <laughs> I'm so excited to have cooked and curry and it's only so really breakfast food, no? I'm surprised they have it for lunch. स्वीट एंड सॉर्ट I still get it. It's quite hot. Yeah. You want sweet and sour? Yeah. So what's the food order finally, guys? Yes, sir. I will take the special Kerala fish curry. And you are having you? I'll have the appam and stew, and also the kadla and fish. And I would like pepper chicken with idli appam. Thank you so much. And can we ask you one thing? This uh, why is it called second Delhi restaurant? Yes, of course. Why is it called first? Yeah. Only two tables, huh? Yeah. Wow. Small shops. Yeah. So we used to get a lot of customers coming from many places. Yeah. Because that's the only food. Yeah. So then we thought we increase. So this is the place. second one. Oh, okay, nice. So the first time we had to. Okay. Because my dad is not here. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. While these two are taking Jayanti's interview, you guys can check out the menu here. Now, as usual, these two are poking fun at me. Start again. Start again. Thank God, no. Prince, your Frankenstein hairstyle is outgrowing itself. I have no problem with my hair. Fringe, is it? Yeah, fringe. 
I'm sure there are viewers that. I don't have any friends, yeah. Chukka. Get a terrible prank and send it. Chok mata, bilkul chok. I'm surprised people didn't unsubscribe from your channel. Oh, you were saying something before me. Is Jaya always hard coming? You all have to laugh at me. That's because I laugh. You are a very disloyal friend. I laugh is very good. Oh, my God, starting. The laugh is very good. Will you do your channel again? Change. While we wait for our meal, let's see some glimpses of Kerala and Second Jenny's restaurant. Some helpful hints of what to order. We strongly agree. Yes. It's time for some food now. Mm. Here comes Jaya's first dish, the famous puttu with kadala. Oh, wow. Yay! Yeah. It's very good. Great. ट I always soak my idi appam in coconut milk. You have to ask for coconut milk separately if you want it. Wow. Fantastic hit for her. She did not know what happened. I will like your restaurant. <laughs> so nice to have a restaurant named after you. And after the girl type.
Jaya just loved the upper mints too. Is it spicy? Actually, it's got lots of uh, black pepper. Uh, This tarle curry looks really delicious. Well, what's up? This tastes quite different compared to other fish curries. I mean, this curry is quite different. And this has a more sour taste. It's nice, but it's it has this soury. Ah. But you don't find our fish curries also have an element of sour. Maybe this is too much because we always put coca on. Yeah, they put the other coca, the yellow coca. Yeah, tambo as they call it. Yeah. Pola pola. Oh. Can you give me make a bite for me with rice curry and little bit of bamboo or yeah. prawn just for me to taste? Oh, okay. Mostly I cook South Indian food, no? For me, the sour is fantastic. The prawns are first fried and then mixed. Did you say first fried? Masala is nice. First fried. <laughs> fried first. The masala is nice. But I don't like the way the prawns are too rubbery because they have been fried and then again fried. What's this? This is fish. Another fish curry. Mm -hmm. This also has the same. Ah oh no, it's it's prawn curry. So this is prawn fry. How we have kismut, but they have it fresh prawns. This is like roast prawns. Yeah. Like this mood is a salad, but this is a roast prawn dish. Like how we had my chicken, mm -hmm. chicken roast prawn. Mm -hmm. This is more like having almond dip. Mm -hmm. It's just sour and hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That was one fantastic feast, and now to pay the bill. Thank you so much. Food and not even thousand rupees. It's a 
lot of items to come. Yes, that is sweet. <laughs> because the food is whatever, the thali is designed in such a way, end of the thing is like, ah, now I need to sleep. Do you still feel the same after eating? Here also we ate a thali. 100%. <laughs> Now poor Viola has to go back to office but I am going to go home and snooze. And will you be able to go to office and do your work now because after go and fish curry rice it's sometimes quite difficult to do that. Yeah, let let me see. I will bravely fight on it. <laughs> I will send you an update after an hour. Okay. What did you think Jaya of Jenny's restaurant? I liked the fact that it's called Jenny's restaurant. Named after her daughter. I like the fact that it's called Second Jenny's Restaurant <laughs> because it seems the first one only had two tables and served only about egg roast and and appam. Appam, wow. Yeah. Then they had to make it bigger. Then I love the putta and I love the texture of it. I love how it uh, absorbs the kadla and I love the way it looks. That roll. thing with the coconut inside cylindrical yeah cylindrical i like the layers that it has then i like the stew even though it was a little overpowering to me like it had a lot of uh, garam masala. masala but once i mixed it with the coconut uh, milk that the the balance was perfect i loved the chicken ghee roasted edi appam which i ordered it reminded me of My times I have spent in Madras, where I would go to these the small Malu restaurant near my uncle's house, and have the idli appam soaked in coconut milk with prawn roast. It was absolutely delicious, and I think I have a great partiality for South Indian food because I found the fish curry rice absolutely sublime. Uh, Viola found it a little sour for her taste because they use that kodam puri, you know, tango, which is even more sour than our kodam. But wow, I just loved it. I mean, I would I would say I'm equally as in love with the golden fish curry as I am with the Kerala fish curry after eating Jenny's version. I'll definitely go back there.